hours after a white supremacist walked into the historic Emanuel AME Church in Charleston, South Carolina, and killed nine people during Bible study, survivors of the shooting and victims' family members gathered in a courtroom and told the shooter they forgave him. That act of forgiving people is the greatest act of love that one could ever experience. Cry. At a panel discussion following a special screening of the documentary Emmanuel, director Brian Ivey said it was this incredible act of forgiveness that inspired him to make the film. We know that this story's been on the news, but we want the world to know where God was in all of this. And that's why we made the film. Pastor Dimas Salaberrios, who was in Charleston immediately following the tragedy, conducted all of the interviews for the documentary. Doing the interviews were extremely difficult. I mean, we would cry. Every fan member was crying. I mean, this was very fresh to them, even though there, some time had passed, to them it was like yesterday. I do think that, that there's a higher calling um, on film as well to communicate stories that must be told and retold until um, we heal. And so my hope is that the story can accomplish that. Rose Simmons says she can't help but smile whenever she's asked about her father, Reverend Daniel Simmons Sr., a fourth generation preacher and a Vietnam veteran who was awarded a Purple Heart. Everything that he did, he did with excellence. He was an overachiever. If it was in his charge, he made sure that it happened. Yeah, he was, he was that type of person. Simmons was among the victims of the Emanuel shooting. His daughter says she wanted to be a part of the film to ensure that his memory, along with the other victims, will live on. I think about my dad and his, and, and I've, I've coined this, the, his eternal comrades, how they gave their lives or their lives were given to bring about conversations. He gave his life for his friends, and I'm so proud. Emmanuel opens in theaters nationwide on June 17th and 19th to coincide with the fourth anniversary of the shooting. The producers will donate their share of the profits from the film to survivors and families of the victims.